real smooth. <laughs> What's going on everybody? I'm back. It's literally the next day from the last video. Uh, where we left off, I was doing some body work on the car and I'm gonna continue doing body work on the car. Uh, I'm gonna start by sanding it down, finish sanding it down. I already have most of it sanded down and then I'm gonna take that tape off the bumper and I'm gonna see how that came out. I'm still going to go over the rest of the car with the the actual sander. I didn't miss spots, but I'm gonna go over more spots in detail, like spots like that you can still see that shine a little bit. I'm gonna go over that by hand. As, as you can see, it's not as clear on the fender here or on the hood. I did a pretty good job at that. Yeah, I mean, she's looking good. Well, the body's getting there and then she'll be off to paint. I'm so freaking excited. I always wanna see what this car looks like in one color, so. We're gonna find out. But before I even get started with that, I'm gonna check and see what this bumper right here looks like. Uh, I might have to rescuff it a little bit because I might have got overspray. I can definitely feel like grittiness now. But um, yeah, I'm gonna set you guys up on a little camcorder mount thing that I got and uh, let me see how this came out. So I am done with all the body work. Well, just sanding it down. Actually, I still have a little bit more to go, but this is what it looks like. All sanded down. Um, I still have to do like this part right here by hand. I can't get the uh, gun in there or the freaking hand sander in there. Uh, I sanded down like the logos as best I possibly can. I had to hand sand inside of there. Now all I really have to do is the battery's dead, so it's charging right now. All I really have to do is, is I have to drive the car over there near the hose, uh, wash it down, rinse it down, wipe it down, and then I have to use uh, self vouching primer on the bare spots that popped up. But other than that, she's ready to get painted. So this is how my front bumper turned out. And it looks cool from afar, but it's not like, I'm really not happy with how that came out. Like these edges look terrible, like really bad. So I'm probably just gonna sand it down, have it painted. Um, this side came out pretty shitty too. You know, this is the idea design I was going with, like more of a wide eyed style, nor this is my first time really ever, ever doing this. I've never done this in my life before. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is what happened and you know, I live and I learn. I'm just, I, there's gotta be a way to like mask off like edges so they're like nice and straight. I know there's like a, a kind of like a vinyl, I don't know, like tape that allows me to make like nice little circles and edges and stuff. I was just using regular masking tape. That's why I came out so poorly. But yeah, this is the first time I'm ever doing this so it's definitely a learning experience. I learned that I definitely miss a lot of spots while sanding thinking that I got them but I actually didn't. Should be done, I hope. Let's hope, please hope, 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 hope. I'm gonna sand this down real quick. Then I'm gonna start the car. The battery should be charged enough to the point where I can start it. I'm gonna start it 
And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna rinse everything down. So this is the final product. Uh, I'm gonna have the paint shop probably sand certain spots because I may or may not have missed spots. This is my first time doing it and uh, I know they'll go over it anyway. So I'm just letting it run because the battery was a little dead. But this is how it came out. Not too bad for my first time here. And I discovered something. I can sand the edges of this right over here so it all looks flush. And I did that but before I did that, I sanded this, and I'm like, oh, this isn't gonna work, so I'll just get rid of it. And then I'm like, wait a second. I did the edges, and then I got the edges super smooth. So I'm dumb, now I have to repaint these, and oh well. But now that I know that, I'm going to paint the roof white, because that is what I wanted to do. I wanted to have the white eyelids, and I wanted the white roof. So I'm gonna do that, and hopefully tomorrow I bring the car to get painted, or the next day, who knows, but I'm gonna start by masking stuff off and then I'll get to painting. So we're gonna pick this back up tomorrow. It's getting dark. I just used this entire can of paint on the roof tomorrow morning I'm gonna clear coat it I have work at 3 I think I can clear coat it before I bring it to the body shop I wanted to set a pair of hood pins that I have uh, on the hood you know drill the holes out so when I go and get the car painted I don't have to drill into a perfectly painted hood and then I don't know it's all up in the air all right it's the next day and this is the result not Great. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's a lot of not overspray or what's it called? It's like, I don't know. There's a lot of like water marks, it seems, because I guess at night it didn't dry really well when it was cold. I'm going to try to give it another coat, one more coat, and then I'm going to use the clear. I'll probably sand it out. Who knows? Let's see what happens. So I just threw on another coat of white paint. Uh, apparently it rained last night. That's what my dad just said. Uh, that's why it had all like those watermark things on it But I threw another coat on there. It fixed it. I'm gonna throw uh, Maybe like two or three coats of clear. I'm gonna start spraying it and um, Then after that I'm gonna fix up this bumper right here. Um, I ended up redoing the uh, this thing and I gotta sand it back down. I figured out how to get those edges the way I want them to, so I'm just gonna do that the same way. Uh, you know, so re-sand this, clear coat that, and then put the bumper back on, and then she'll go get painted. So now that I have all that taken care of, got the tape taken off, all that other stuff taken off, um, I'm gonna sand down the car again by hand. I'm gonna use the 120 grit again. And um, sorry I'm being quiet, it's still pretty early in the morning. So people are still doing their daily motions and I have neighbors and I don't want to talk too loud. So um, even though that doesn't really matter, they're like far away, but still trying to be respectful. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get that overspray off the windows because I got a lot of it on there. Did not think it would overspray that bad, but you live and learn. So I'm gonna work on that first and sand the car by hand. 
and then that's it. That's really it. And then put it back together just to get it to the body shop. And other than that, she'll be painted. So the car has been reassembled, not for the final time, just to get it to paint. I'm still gonna sand down the whole car again by hand. I just have to go to work right now. So you can kind of see the style I'm going for here with the white roof and the white like eyelids. The roof came out all right. As you can see, there's like a glare of clear coat. That's, this is why I hate using clear coat for my can because it always leaves like a streak marks. Uh, I'm gonna try using the buffer and polishing this. I'm gonna buff it out a little bit and then polish it. Um, see what that does, see if that works. I got all the overspray off the windows and the windshield and stuff, so that's all completely clear again. I have to put the corner lights back on, the tail lights back on, just like snug them up, put the bulbs in and stuff, because when I bring it to the paint shop, I'm going to take them off again because I don't want them getting overspray on anything just in case they mask things off wrong. These are gonna be masked off. Uh, the roof's gonna be masked off and then it's gonna be painted this color again. No different color. Eventually I'm gonna get wheels that I will paint white. Uh, the same Rust-Oleum white that'll match the car better. And yeah, I mean, it's getting there slowly but surely. I, I like what I did here with that. I really like that. For some reason, not a lot of people do that with these Celicas. I see zero people modifying these Celicas. So I'm kind of venturing into like uncharted waters myself because I'm not familiar with this car. It's not like your Skyline two or 240 or you know cars that people have done a lot of stuff with before or like even in a Toyota's aspect like an 86 or a uh, freaking like a GT4. Like I don't see a lot of these cars like this so it's really, I feel like I'm doing everything from scratch here. So bear with me if I don't know much about what I'm talking about or anything that's going on with this car, but I gotta go to work. Uh, I gotta hurry up. Oh my God, I gotta be there at three, it's two. I gotta take a shower and stuff. Oh geez, I'll be back, oh my God. So I just sanded off the car again with 150 grit. Uh, that's just so I get any of that overspray off that I did from when I did the roof. I'm gonna go over the roof again with like a really fine grit, probably like a thousand or something around there because the, when I sprayed the clear coat, it was very like streaky and it's not, it didn't come out very good. Even though I put multiple layers of clear coat, I mean, you even saw probably early in the video if I edited it in like of, me spraying multiple layers of clear coat and it came out clear but it's very streaky so I'm gonna see if I can go over that with like a high grit sandpaper and um, eventually just you know get all that dust off of it buff it and polish it and see if that takes out that streak mark it should um, in theory so the whole car has been sanded again by hand I'm gonna rinse it down and uh, primer over those bare metal spots and then that's really it. I'm going to vacuum, just vacuum for now, like underneath the seats and stuff, so I can bolt them down. And um, I'll eventually like steam clean everything, but 
but for now I'm just gonna vacuum it up, bolt the seats back in, and then she's ready to pretty much go to the body shop and get painted. So I self etched and primered all the bare metal spots. I have a set of hood pins. I, it's hard to find a place where I can put them, but I'm gonna do some measuring and see like where the center line is and stuff like that. So if I ever wanted to put them on, I, I mean, I really want to, but there's like, it's really awkward on this hood for some reason. So I'm gonna check it out, uh, take some measurements and see where I could possibly place them. Mom, mom. Mom, yes. you like my car? Mm, yes, you're doing a great job. So she's finally ready for paint. The whole car has been unmasked. I, I really have to fix this trim right here because this just looks hideous. I'm gonna see if I can find a kit online uh, where it's like a new set of trim for the windows because this just looks really ugly. I don't even know how to remove this. I've never done trim on a car before but it looks freaking horrendous and I do not like that. Uh, the windshield trim I might have to leave because I probably have to take the windshield out. So it's really the windshield in that back uh, windshield that I'm gonna leave because that means I have to take them both out and stuff like that. And I don't know, I, I really don't know how to do that and I don't want to mess that up because then my windshield will fly off. So I'm gonna replace these side trims. Don't know when, I, can, I know I'm gonna replace this. The reason why I'm speaking so quiet by the way is because it's like really awkward. I'm No, but all in all, it came out pretty good. I mean, could it have been better? Yeah, probably. I tried my hardest. This is the first time I'm ever doing this. I'm doing it out of my backyard, so I really hope it comes out good from paint. And thank you, everyone, for watching. In the next episode, this car will probably be painted. I'm not too sure. I hope so. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to do some research on this window trim and stuff, see what I can find. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And uh, it's this is like a really big process, very difficult. If you want to do a project car yourself, just if you don't have a shit ton of money to spend all at once, just be prepared. It is a tedious process, holy crap. Um, but it is fun and will probably be worth it in the end. Is it worth it now? Yeah, I'm not really feeling it yet, but I know in the end it will be better. So thank you everyone for watching. Peace out. God bless. See you in the next one.